Welcome to another video, the second one of my Lorbite Inspiration series. Moving on from philosophy and Plato's theory of forms and his allegory of the cave, I cannot stray too far away and I find myself delving into the dark corridors of Greek mythology, a place that can easily be the first role-playing campaign setting of our ancestors. Hooks for your games can be found on every other paragraph of any myth you can find. Many of you might have heard stories about River Styx, the river of the ancient Greek underworld, the dark waters that made gods and humans alike to sever in its presence. Let me guide you to the story of this magnificent yet fearsome river. Let me show you how fantasy games collide with existing mythology and most importantly, let us use the dark waters of Styx to seal our new vows. Styx, or Styras in Greek, is the daughter of Erebos, the total darkness, and Nyx, night. Styx helped Zeus during his war with the Titans and gracefully, once he prevailed, he granted her the gift to become the insurer of godly oaths and allowed her kids to enter Mount Olympus. Zeus will take Kratos, state, and via violence under his constant protection. Being the keeper of vows means that in the presence of her waters, an oath taken by a god could never be broken. If it were, the god would suffer great pains for a year without being able to move or speak or even breathe. And nine more years he would lose his position in the council of the gods and even his share of nectar and ambrosia. Like you, my role-playing friends, I realized Styx was the first quest or gas spell in our world. She was created to ensure God's word would be his bond. Seek was the seal of all promises. But we still have some more details for our friend Styx that I would like to share with you before we embark on our journey on her dark waters. Styx was connected with the underworld, the domain of Hades, the god of death. The power of that dark water is immense. No item can withstand its potency. No metal or ceramic pot could contain it. The only way Iris, the messenger of Zeus, could transport it to Mount Olympus for an oath to be taken was within a container she created from the hooves of mythical horses. Many stories have been created in the past concerning River Styx and the potency or fatality of her waters. One of the most prominent is that of the great warrior Achilles who was submerged by his mother Thetis in her waters and became invulnerable everywhere except his heel, the place Thetis was holding him while she was submerging him into the waters, resulting in his death many years later when Paris shot him with an arrow in his famous now Achilles heel, killing him instantly. River Styx is believed to encircle Hades' underworld, our known hell, nine times. The number nine, I think, is relevant, with the punishment a god sustains if he breaks his oath taken before Styx. Nine years of underworld exile? Who knows, perhaps, for my stories, it sure makes sense. The underworld has five rivers, each serve its own purpose. Acheron, the river of woe. The river that Haron, the boatman of the dead, used to take the souls to the next world. If only a gold coin was placed on their lips after they have died. Acheron was the river of souls, the river that led to the entrance of Adi's domain, which was protected by Cerberus, the gatekeeper of hell. Kokitus, the river of lamentation, the river of internal wailing, the place for the souls of the repented murderers, whose wails are heard throughout hell, hoping to reach their victims and find the redemption before they land in the deepest layer of hell, lost forever. Phlegathon, the river of fire, as Dentis in his inferno said, a river of boiling blood for those that spilled hot blood in their lives, now sunk in its depths depending the crime they have committed in their lives. The greater the crime, the deeper the soul will boil within the flaming river. Lithi, the river of forgetfulness, the river that ensured one will forget his past, their earthly life, would be wiped from their mind with the help of his waters. An old man waiting on its banks with a cup of water ready to grant the greatest of gifts to the dead, the gift of oblivion. And finally, Styx, the river of hate. Styx was the punishment, Styx was the pain, but also hope for invulnerability. Styx was just and unbiased. She was the judge even gods feared. Styx's black water were the epitome of darkness, the total eclipse of color and light, the merits of Erebus and Nyx, the waters we make our vows and make sure we never break.
So by now, if you have followed my previous videos, we have a multiverse of four planes with a plane of perfection to be the home of our gods where everything exists in absolute magnificence, our prime material plane to be the place for one to prove he is worthy to return to perfection if he was thrown out of it, the plane of purgatory for those who have proved themselves in the prime material plane and start cleansing their spoiled by darkness soul prepping for the return to perfection and a plane of darkness, the eternal pain as suffering for those who earn their damnation and lose their way towards the other planes of existence once and for all. Add to the mix five rivers that encircle all of the planes and depending what have you done in your life they will transport you to the appropriate level of existence you deserve to be and your world has more than a basic foundation to let loose your players and have them plane hop to explore the vast capabilities of the unknown. Once more, thank you for being here. I have taken my vows at the dark water of Styx. I promise I will let loose to the journey of Haran, knowing there is no coin in my lips. Let's see where my lost soul will finally land. River Styx is my witness. I will create stories and lore I enjoy, and I will make encounters that I want to face. I will enrich my world with stories I need to explore, seeking invulnerability or facing total darkness of Erevas or the imposing blackness of Nyx. Your subs, your likes and your comments never cease to surprise me. I really appreciate you all for being here. Remember, the next time you promise something, River Styx's water are near and a broken promise holds pain and a journey to the underworld which might be the best adventure you had until now. Enjoy your stay in my domain. This was the RPG Loremaster and welcome to my table.